Assembly of Crane Attachment, Standard Boom Tip. Before performing work, read the Operation and Maintenance Manual for Operation Details. Also, perform this operation on flat hard ground. Boom and Guy Line Arrangement. Prepare the boom and guy line according to the arrangement chart. Only preferred boom arrangement is shown in table. Please check the operation and maintenance manual for details. Do not assemble the boom which is not shown in the operation and maintenance manual. Check the each boom and jib component for damage. If damage is found, repair the damage at the designated service shop. Do not use damaged boom, jib which may cause a collapse and lead to personnel injuries or loss of life. As for crane specification, place the steel plates between the ends of the crawler and the ground when erecting or lowering a boom if the boom length is 88.4 meters or longer as shown. When place the steel plate, the crane travel forward until the idler center comes to the center of the steel plate. This video describes the following attachment configurations. Boom. 30.5 meters, standard boom tip, plus auxiliary sheave. Hook. 70 ton hook, 4 parts, plus ball hook, 1 parts. Caution for cantilever. Ensure to work with the gantry is set at work position, and the inching switch should be set in inching position. Do not exceed the cantilever limitation. Do not perform the hoisting work or travel while the boom is supported with the cantilever. Hoisting a boom until the boom tip is cleared off from the ground will lead to damage to the boom. If the pinholes located in the lower sections of the booms to be connected are aligned, the boom should not be hoisted further. Installing a boom This assembly procedure starts from the machine is under the following conditions. Do not lower the boom base tip below ground level, otherwise interfere the boom and or backstop with surrounding components and lead to damaged parts. Required boom components with pay attention to the up-down face properly of insert booms, and place near the boom base section. Do not place the attachment direct to the ground. Place a wooden block and place the attachment stably on it. Attach this link to the boom insert. When lifting the boom, jib use the protector or the synthetic fiber sling. Do not lift at lattice pipe. In case of lifting semi-assembled boom, jib lift at connecting part. Hanger bracket can be used only when the boom is at single part. Does not use it when the plural booms are connected otherwise the boom may damage. Lift the boom insert and position it near the boom base. Do not stand on or enter under inside of the attachment being assembling disassembling. Align the top side pinholes. Insert the connecting pins into the top side pinholes. Use flanged connecting pins. Be sure to tap the connecting pins from the outside to the inside. Insert connecting pin should be oriented vertical its pinhole and secure the spring lock pin. Detach the slings. Connect the rest of the boom inserts according to the boom configuration chart.
attach the sling to the boom tip. Lift the boom tip and connect it to the boom insert. Lift the boom base up by raising the mast, so that the lower connecting holes of boom base and boom insert aligns. Do not exceed the cantilever limitation. Insert the connecting pins into the bottom side pin holes. Use double tapered connecting pins. Lower the mast and remove the slings. When working at a high elevation, be sure to use a safety belt to prevent falling. Use a scaffolding board for working on the attachment. Install or extend the cable rollers. Connecting the boom guy lines. Prepare the guy lines according to the arrangement chart. To identify each guy line, see the part number stamped on the connector. Lift the guy lines and connect them to the top end of the boom tip. Spread the split pins 60 degrees apart, 30 degrees to each side. Do not bend just one side 60 degrees. Lower the guy lines onto the boom. When working at a high elevation, be sure to use a safety belt to prevent falling. Guide the guy lines as necessary, so that they do not droop to the side of the boom. Keep the guy lines as straight as possible on the boom. Connect the rest of the guy lines according to the boom configuration chart. Insert the guy line connecting pin from the inside. Connect guy lines of which guy lines 1.96 meters installed on the mast, and the guy lines comes from boom tip. After the assembly has been completed, be sure to confirm that all connecting pins and split pins are correctly installed. Fully lower the mast assist arms. Hoist the boom hoist drum to draw the guy lines taut. Place a signalman to prevent accident from rotating drum.
stop hoisting the boom hoist wire rope just before the boom tip leaves the ground. Front Drum Wire Rope Reeving In this chapter, 70-ton hook with four parts of line wire rope will be assembled as explanation. Swing the upper machinery and set the hook block, weight of over hoist limit switch and socket on the ground. Set the hook block so that it is in a straight line with the point sheaf. When passing the hoist wire rope to the hook block, face the striker, hook block side weight catch, contacting the hook over hoist limit switch weight to the bottom foot side. Swing the upper machinery back over the hook. Pay out the front drum wire rope. Pass the wire rope through the idler sheave and boom point sheave. Be sure to pass the wire rope through the sheaves correctly. Pass the front drum wire rope through the hook sheave and boom point sheave in order. Install the limit switch and pass the wire rope through it. Install the rope socket and secure the end of the wire rope to it. Install the rope socket in the correct direction. Disconnect the cables from the cable reel on the boom base. Pay out the electrical cable from the cable reel. Secure the junction cables or limit switch wiring to the boom with the hanger. Connect the cable to the boom tip junction panel. Engage the cable reel stopper once having paid out enough cable. Connect the cable to it work on cable reel. Check the connection of load detector connector. Set the crane configuration into the controller. Input the crane configuration properly to prevent machine overturning or damage. Installing the auxiliary sheave. The boom lengths to which the auxiliary sheave can be installed are shown in this table. Raise the boom and lift the boom point slightly above the ground. Lift the auxiliary sheave with the assist crane. Align the pinholes on the upper side and install the securing pins. Align the pinholes on the lower side and install the securing pins. Detach the sling. Rear Drum Wire Rope Reeving Place the ball hook near the tip of the auxiliary sheave. Pay out the rear drum wire rope. 
do not use hook with a part of line on the third drum. The boom may raise and turn over backward when hoist the hook with a part of line. When handling the wire rope, use leather gloves to prevent injury on the fingers or hands. Take extra care to work on the moving wire rope not to touch the sheave and wire rope to prevent accident of being crushed or being entangled. Pass the wire rope through the idler sheave and auxiliary sheave. Be sure to pass the wire rope through the sheaves correctly. Install the limit switch and pass the wire rope through it. Install the rope socket and secure the end of the wire rope to it. Set the crane configuration into the controller. Input the crane configuration properly to prevent machine overturning or damage. Confirmation before erecting the attachment. Check the following items and confirm that there is no abnormality, then erect the boom. The ground must be level and firm. Improve the ground condition if required by placing steel plate below the whole machine. Pre-operational check completed. Boom backstop extended to work position. Lubrication to the required part of the attachment performed. Wire ropes correctly reaped. No tools or articles left on the attachment. Mast assist arms are in the fully lowered position. Ox actuator select switches in the off position. Off limit signs posted at surrounding area of the attachment. Wiring for the boom, main and auxiliary hook over hottest limit switches properly connected. Limit switch S functions. Load safety device correctly wired. Proper crane configuration data set proper hook mode selected. Travel motor set to rear side. The steel plates are placed at the front end of the crawler, if it's required. As for crane specification, when erecting or lowering a boom length of 88.4 meters, 290 ft, or longer, place the steel plates between the ends of the crawler and the ground as shown. Travel the crane until the idler center comes to the center of the steel plate. 